Welcome to the OpenStack Summit, Boston. Can you please tell us your name and what you do? Hi, I'm Bill Mew. I'm a cloud strategist at UK Cloud. Great. Congratulations on winning the Super User Awards along with Patty Power Betfair. What do you think made UK Cloud stand out amongst the finalists? Well, uh, we're delighted to have won the award. It's uh, an award that we share not only with our hardworking team, but also with our partners and clients because they lead a lot of the innovation we do. And it's that innovation we think that really helped us uh, stand out. Uh, we serve a particular market in the UK, which is the UK government sector. Uh, we only serve the, the public sector clients from central government to local government to health and elsewhere. And uh, this is a particular niche that we're focused on. Uh, and we believe that um, by being specialists in that market and by uh, taking on and beating the generalists, the, the global hyperscalers in the market, um, we can provide added value to all of those clients. And um, OpenStack is uh, part of the armory that we use to do that. And uh, we're keen to continue innovating and to continue uh, contributing to the OpenStack community. Yeah, uh, staying on that topic, I attended a session for the UK civil service and heard they were working with uh, UK Cloud. Uh, can you explain that partnership? Yeah, no, we've got a, a host of uh, different clients in the UK public sector. Uh, we have over 200 clients in that market and uh, we're actually the, the largest provider of uh, cloud services to the UK public sector. Um, one of the teams that we were over here with uh, at the OpenStack Summit were from the Department of International Trade um, and they were presenting on some of the innovative use that they've made of OpenStack on our particular platform. Um, they're uh, looking to try and um, uh, 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 integrate different systems between different parts of government um, in order to provide efficiencies as uh, we've sought to do across government in the UK. Uh, in particular, the example that I think they presented on stage was that uh, if you want to, let's say, uh, uh, import a, an antique firearm from uh, Germany, say, um, in the past, you might have needed to fill in a, 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 a form to sort of get a, a clearance for the import license, uh, another form for a firearms license, and yet another form for an antiques license. It's a question of uh, having joined up government and providing the systems and the microservices that uh, link up all these departments so that when you go online, you can have a, a single license application that recognizes your requirements, that uh, 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 feeds the information directly into the different registers of the different departments that you need to be uh, 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 getting a license from, and automates this and makes the whole experience easier and more integrated for the, the users. And, and in, indeed, it's, it's not only providing a better service to those who are applying for the license, it's providing better value for the UK taxpayer because it's a lot more efficient. What other kind of customers does UK Cloud work with? Well, it's a wide range of customers. Um, we've always had a, a strong presence in central government. We also work in local government, defense, um, police and, and justice, uh, education and elsewhere. And indeed, uh, this week, uh, my colleagues back in the UK are, are launching a new division to particularly target the healthcare environment. Um, we've seen about uh, a 10% uh, a penetration of cloud with government sector workloads for central government. Um, uh, it's still a far lower percentage in areas like local government and health. Uh, and we want to, uh, just as we've done by providing specialist services with a, a group of really great specialist partners to the central government, we want to try and take the same successful formula and take it to the health sector. So we've got a, a whole set of partners that we're uh, working with to uh, launch a new division into the health sector. And we're really uh, 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 gung-ho and, and looking forward to, to working with many clients in that sector. We already have about 30 existing clients and uh, we see a really big opportunity there, not only for ourselves and for our partners, but also for our clients in that, in that arena, saving them money, providing efficiencies and, and really bringing innovation to the market. What can we expect to see from UK Cloud in the next six to 12 months? Well, uh, we, we have a, a, a set of different platforms. Um, we have a VMware platform, we're introducing an Oracle Cloud as well, and of course we have our OpenStack platform where uh, a lot of the innovations I've talked to you about are happening. Um, we want to take uh, that choice of platform uh, to back into those markets. Um, we obviously, we've just launched a health division, but we see there's a, there are areas of government that have yet to really take um, a, a cloud adoption to, to its nth degree. Um, 
uh, we've, we're very advanced in the UK. Uh, the UK has been recognized by the United Nations as the number one digital government in the world. So uh, we're getting some things right. And, and the award we've won here says, says something about that as well. Um, but obviously, uh, with penetration in central government about 10% and other areas as low as 1% or 2%, there's a still a long way to go. There's more innovation. There's more efficiencies that we can bring to the market and there's savings that we can make for our clients. So there's, there's a hell of a lot of work still to do, great amount of potential out there, and I think we can really bring value to all of our clients. Well, thank you for taking the time to chat with us. Enjoy the rest of the summit. Uh, we really enjoyed it here. Thank you very much indeed.